All right, how about those boys of summer? That's right. The Honolulu Little League team has captured the hearts of everyone here in the 808 as they continue to impress at the Little League World Series. Hawaii is a perfect 2 and 0, and they'll square off against Staten Island, New York, tomorrow at 1:30 p.m. Hawaii time. Now, the winner will advance into the U.S. Championship game. Team manager Gerald Oda joins us now live by phone from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Good morning, coach. Hi, good morning and aloha. Aloha. How are you and the boys doing? Another big game coming up tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you know, the boys, you know, much to their credit, they're just enjoying the moment. They're obviously having a great, great time here at Williamsport, uh, seeing all the different teams from across the nation and across the world for that matter. Um, but before, you know, I say anything else, I just want to let everybody know back home too that. So we're really praying for everyone's safety, and um, you know, because I just heard it's a hurricane watch now, and we've been monitoring it back um, here also. So, definitely, we've got our prayers uh, for everyone back home. Hey, coach, I know they have you mic'd up, and you've been encouraging your kids to enjoy the moment, not stress out too much about the outcome. How have you been able to get a bunch of 12-year-olds to play for one another? You know, it starts with that. That, um, that saying that we had on the back of our jerseys at, um, when we was in California in the regionals, you know, that we, we greater than me, um, and that we don't just, you know, as we explained to the boys, we had a, in fact, we just had a meeting about it again last night, that this is not about each individual doing well so that you can get more camera time to be on ESPN, um, but it's about you doing well so that, you can, so that the whole team can do well. And at the same time, it's about us representing a great state of uh, Hawaii. That's why, you know, we, we've got a big responsibility. That people are going to judge us based upon how we behave on the baseball field and more importantly, off the baseball field. Um, so, you know, I, and I think that when the kids get when buy into that and at the same time have appreciation for where we are, you know, we, we, we don't get to Williamsport just with just ourselves. It's, there's a countless hundreds of people or even thousands of people that, are praying for us, wishing us the best, you know, supporting us, uh, and that, and that you know, once we lose that appreciation, that's when we no longer, you know, become a united team um, and just a bunch of individuals. So credit the kids, yeah, they're sticking together, we're trying our best to represent the 808. Credit all the coaches and parents as well. Um, what kind of team does New York have, and how are you getting the boys ready? Uh, you know, in New York, <laughs> they're very well coached. They're they're all business. I, mean, they, 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 I hardly even see them on the compound. I don't know if they're secretly, secretly practicing at some facility or <laughs> training somewhere, but no, they carry them. They're, they're coached very well. They have great talent. Um, you know, and like I said, they're, they're, it's going to be a very tough game. Uh, I expect this meant to be uh, very, very difficult. Hey, Coach, just off the field, I wonder how much sleep the kids are getting because they're not in school right now. And it's my understanding that they're dorming with another team? Yeah, so right now we're dorming, well, you know, right now we're dorming with another team from um, Canada. Actually, in our, in our compound building, there's Canada, there's Michigan, and there's Australia. So it's a huge, uh, think of it as like a big tunnels complex where each, each you know, is divided into four quad quadrants. So, um, Kids are enjoying it, and that's, that's the great thing about uh, this tournament in Little League. The kids, even though, you know, everyone's an opponent, you know, we're going to face each other, the kids talk to each other, they trade pins together, you know, it's, so it's not like a me versus you kind of thing, where I hate you, it's more just like a friendly competition, and that, I think that's the great thing in the atmosphere about, about Williamsport. All right, well, thank you so much, Coach. Uh, Manager Gerald Oda joining us live from Williamsport. We wish you and the boys the best of luck, and we just want to say you guys have made the 808 so proud already. So good luck. Yeah, and so thank you. And on, on behalf of the, of the parents and the players here at Williamsport, just again, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for all the support and love. And aloha, because we definitely feel it here in Williamsport. So much mahalos. Thank you very much, and best of luck. Way to represent the 808. Now, Hawaii will face Staten Island, New York, tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii time at the Little League World Series. But it's, it was great how he says, it's we versus me. It's greater mm -hmm. than me, and they got to represent themselves off the field. It's, I mean, they're not in school right now, but they're learning some important life lessons at the Little League World Series. And when you watch the game and you get to listen to what the coach is talking to his players about and how he inspires them, 
he, you can tell he's such a good guy. Makes him feel at home, yes. kind of relaxes them and say, hey, it's not just about you or me. It's a game. You yes. know, just play the game. Right? Relax and have fun. Don't worry about the scoreboard. Don't worry about getting TV time. Just, right. just do your job. Right.